was kayaking on a remote river in South America when I dropped over a waterfall and my boat became pinned at the bottom. I was immediately covered with water and submerged. With no air, I desperately tried to free myself but when I realized I would not be able to do it on my own, I asked only that God's will be done. And I was immediately enveloped by a very physical sense of being held and comforted and reassured that everything would be fine, regardless of whether I lived or died. I was calm and comfortable as I reviewed my life with all of its highs and lows, and I thought about my husband and my four young children. Then I felt the boat shift and began to feel my body ever so slowly being sucked out and down the river by the current. I was surprised to find that even as I felt my legs breaking, I felt no pain. I felt great. And as my body went forward over the boat, I could feel my soul peeling away from my body, sort of like peeling apart two pieces of tape. And when my body finally broke free of the boat, I could feel my soul break free from my body. And I rose up and out of the river and was immediately greeted by a host of spirits. Not people I recognized from this earthly life, like my grandfather or my babysitter, but I knew that I had known these people for an eternity, and they had known me. We rejoiced and danced as I was guided along this path to a great domed hall that was intensely beautiful. It radiated the pure, complete, and absolute love of God. And the beauty was such that I felt like I could see it and hear it and feel it and taste it all at the same time. I knew that this was where I and all people had a final opportunity to choose God or turn away. I was excited to make this choice and I could hardly wait. And the spirits inside this hall shared my excitement when I arrived, but just as quickly they shared my disappointment when the spirits who had guided me to this hall turned to me and told me that my work on earth was not done and that I must return to my body. They did tell me some of the reasons for my return and they spoke to me about the future death of my oldest son. During my spiritual encounters, I also gained insight into some of the big questions of our day, such as why do bad things happen to good people? Does God really love each one of us? And is he really present? And is there really life after death? I have led a truly remarkable life, and I have had an extraordinary walk with God. But I absolutely know that God really does love each and every one of us, he has a plan for each of us, and he will never leave us.